Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today me and my girlfriend went for a hike up the mountain, exploring a new area which we hadn't been to before. I wanted to capture some references for my next animated film project, as I plan on having it be set in a mountain landscape. I don't want to give away too much about what the film is about yet, as I don't want to commit to anything yet, but it will be focused on rock climbing, that much I can say. The area which we visited is packed with these large boulders and it really makes for a nice scenery. As an avid rock climber myself, I think when writing a film it is very useful to pick a subject matter that relates to you a lot. If you love a certain lifestyle or let's say a certain subject, then you will sit on some knowledge on those things making, in my experience, the writing process more natural. My main objective here was to shoot a library of different sceneries in this alpine environment. This day was very cloudy and we were at some points even within the clouds themselves, but it made for a very moody atmosphere. What I had in mind at first was a more bright and sunny day, but I knew that I would need different weather conditions for this film so I will definitely use these foggy days in there too, as I think it's really quite cinematic. I have some work ahead of me in terms of setting the style for this film. It is still in exploration time now, where I try to find techniques that later will be useful when the full production starts. My goal is to be able to build the environment in 3D and as always paint over it. However, I would like to take this a little bit further with this film and make it possible to then move the camera uh, to avoid having too many static scenes. I'm sure I will be making future episodes on just this topic. I found a pretty cool way to generate painted looking grass within the 3D software. I painted a few different sort of sprite sheet grass assets that can be set as textures to simple planes within Cinema 4D. These are then dispersed using a cloner object. I set the cloner to use the landscape object as a generator for the clones. That makes the sprite fill the surface of the object and create this kind of nice grass effect. I am now in Cinema 4D R21 and have moved over to using Redshift as my primary renderer. I have to say that this speeds up the rendering process quite a lot as I used to rely on CPU rendering. Redshift is truly powerful and I'm super excited to see what I can do with this. When painting over my 3D scene, I decided to start with a less moody scene and go for a more sunny approach. The misty landscape would not be a good day for bouldering or rock climbing, as the rock would be very wet. However, as I said, I really want to include some of that mood into the film at certain points, so the footage will definitely be a useful reference. I've brought the camera with me on a few different occasions recently, so I have some footage of mountain environments in different conditions. These were shot on a more sunny day and I ended up using the mountains in the background here as a close reference for this painting. Also the wildflowers in the foreground I painted taking inspiration from this shot. I sadly didn't record me painting the character, but I decided to go for a more lineless style this time. I am now considering using this for the film actually. I did some other tests of characters rendered this way and I'm very happy with the result. I think putting these into animation 
will actually be a more efficient way than having outlines. And I think it will blend pretty well with the background. In future episodes, I'd like to keep exploring this. My goal is to have some strong conceptual paintings that I like before I actually start making the final shots for the film. I have gotten pretty far on the writing, so hopefully I will be able to start the actual production soon. Hope you enjoyed this quicker episode. Make sure to subscribe to follow along as I keep making progress on the style of the film. I will see you guys soon.